Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're going to do another Redivus RT95 radio QA because there hasn't really been much repair. Honestly, I think the majority of the reasons why these things got returned, I hope, I kind of don't hope because that's kind of, anyway, I think the, the reason why a lot of these got returned is because they can't transmit on 70 centimeters without being unlocked. There's like the wrong region code got sent to the US Amazon market and then they got sent out to users and users tried to use them and they couldn't. So let's start tearing things open. We got a little sunlight on the workbench for this one. This is another one of those Amazon returns that probably doesn't have anything wrong with it either. What does this label here say? Anything interesting? LPN license plate number PM AW Amazon warehouse 250 4892. Interesting. Is this one of those post-it note type labels. They've been doing this with shipping labels lately where they just come off real, oh, there's a little problem. They just come off real easily. Nope, this isn't one of them. See, now it's a mission. Now I gotta get it off all the way. Ah, almost, oh, no. Not too bad. Okay, anyway, back to what you guys came here for. You did come here to see me take a label off of a radio. All right, we have owner's manual, good. We have packing material. We already have a programming cable, so this goes back in spares. Out of the way, so I don't lose it. Everything is shrink wrapped. Still, original bag, mounting bracket, and unused power cord. Maybe, maybe it's been used. Somebody took, somebody did a good job of returning this. I'll give them kudos for that. Oh, hold on. It's got a name on it. Somebody put the red of this tag on there. Interesting. I'll leave it on there just because it's neat. All right, put all of that stuff away. How's it look cosmetically? Pretty good. Still has the, the thing on it. All right, excellent. Let's go through the checklist here. All right, first power up. Plug it in. Upside down power cord. Plug it in. Oh, KG5CYP. This one has had a previous owner. Okay. This I noticed on my other radio the other night. I think this is my power supply and it'll it'll stabilize a little bit as we go on. Okay. Plug this thing in. And whenever you plug it in, it does a little blip on the power meter. Okay, let's do power out on 146520. And where are we with power? Power low, 3.3, .3. power middle, 12, power high, 21. Okay, I've seen that before. Let's do 446. Ah, oh, this one still can't do the 446. Turn it off, three finger salute. That's not easy to do. Test mode, and then we go up to 43. And then PTT to change it to two. And then we power off. And then we power on again. And then we do four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. And we key up 22 watts. Four watts. 14 watts, 22 watts. Okay, excellent. So power out and unlock, which also means GMRS works, 16 watts. Yep, because this radio is not designed for that, so it doesn't have the right filters in it. Okay, let's do a full microphone test. So we know PTT works. That lights up the B band, so now we need to switch to 
I guess it's on here. Switch to A band. That lights up the A band. That works. Okay. So both of those lights work. PTT works. Let's do up and down. Don't work, but there's that lock on the side. Unlock. Ah, that is really hard to do. All right, up and down works. All right, all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Star, zero. So beeping means that it works, but there's no valid. So we do one, two, zero. One, four, six, five, zero. There we go. So the zero does, it does work. But the beeping meant that it worked too. And pound sign. Pound sign works. A, B, C, D. I don't know what PA is set for, but it's responding with an error, which means that the key press was received. So there we go with that. And then A and B on the microphone. Switches A and B light up on the mic right here. And it also does the A and B thing there. So microphone works. KM9G testing 146.5 to receive on the internal speaker of the radio. Long press function. Go into function menu. Speaker main. Handle only. I can hear it come out of the handle over here. But let's do the full test. KM9G testing receive on 146.52 into the handle of the radio. KM9G testing transmit. Kilo Mike 9 golf testing transmit. 1234 4321. We're going to test a little bit of programming here. This is the Vox version. I'm loading the Vox version of the software. We're going to do program, a read from radio. Read data completed. All right, let's fix the starting display. I don't know why it jumped around crazy like that, but it's fixed. Everything else looks good. Okay, let's set up some channels. That was weird. There's that weird jumpiness again. It's going backwards. Okay. Everything else is fine. Uh, scan add. So it'll scan it. Let's do a second channel. So we have the ability to check channels. There's the weird channel name thing again. Well, let's do it backwards on purpose. Sure. High power, scan add. All right, right to radio. Yes, I want to continue. All right, this is post-programming. Right of this, all right, we fixed the intro screen. And then let's go to memory mode. And let's put it into display mode for the name. V call and hit the down button. U call. That works. Well, that was a pretty quick run through of all the things. Test out all the things, do all the things. The quality control, the Q and A. No, just the QA. This radio used to belong to KG5CYP. Warren, if you're out there, leave a comment down below. Let me know what reason you return this. All reasons are good, and if you don't want to let me know, that's totally good too. From previous repair videos where people have made some comments on why people return, there's a ton of reasons. And like I said, it doesn't matter what the reason is. You don't have to prove anything to me. I don't care. I'm, I'm just a happy ham, unlike what my brother says. So these things get returned all the time. They can't be sold as new in theory. I don't know what Amazon's doing because a lot of times you get some weird stuff from Amazon that looks like it might have already been returned once before you got it. So I don't know if they changed the rules on that, but it used to be that you couldn't return something and then have it go back to new stock as if it had, you know, like, even if you'd like walked out of the store and walked back in and it was still shrink wrapped, you still couldn't. Maybe the laws have changed. I don't know. Things like this happen. People don't want something or maybe... Like what has happened to me with Amazon a couple of times is I have bought something and it's like taken two and a half months and hasn't arrived. And then I call Amazon and say, fix it. And they send me a new one, which is very nice of them. And then I have this other one and I send it back because I don't want to and quote unquote theft. No judgment. That that could have been a thing as well. There's, there's tons of reasons why these things get returned. I, however, am extremely happy to get these things back into the hands of helping hams out there that are very interested in getting a little bit of a discount. And so this one is going out tomorrow, but if you want one, I've got plenty more left. Send me a message. My email is temporarylyoffline at gmail.com. 
And you can also reach out to me on QRZ or on the Toads Discord, which is linked in the description down below. And get yourself a little bit of a discount on a fully tested and working radio. I've got a couple of other different kinds of radios, and I've always got something going on for sale. So if you're in the market for some kind of discount, there is a swap meet section on the Toads Discord. I post there, and if you haven't seen a post from me recently, or if you're worried about whether something has been sold or not in the meantime, then just ping me on the Discord at TO dot, and it will alert me, and you'll say, hey, dude got anything for sale and I'll say would you believe the stuff I have got for you my friend so if you want to see more non-repair videos if you want to see more QA videos of radios if you want to know some insider tips and tricks on how radios work or just follow along with what's going on in the ham radio world then this is the channel for you be sure you are subscribed there's a link right below the video down there where you can do such thing and I would greatly appreciate it in the meantime there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next thanks for being awesome I'll see you over there